I have missed this and I'm going to miss this so much. I left this plant while I was away and didn't get anyone to water it. And I really hope that it comes back to life because it's beautiful and it was expensive. So I trimmed off the dead bits and I don't want to over water it, but I put a fair amount of water in there because the soil was bone dry. But these are meant to be impossible to kill, but obviously if you don't water them at all, they're gonna die. I am a terrible plant mum. I've killed a cactus before. Good morning guys, we are back in Exeter. I got back yesterday, it feels so good to be back. I forgot how much I love this room. I forgot how much I love looking at this view. I feel so lucky and it's so beautiful and green at the moment. I think I'm just feeling all the more grateful for it seeing as I'm so nearly finished with my degree and that is absolutely wild to me. Like I don't think I've got my head around it properly yet. Like I've nearly completed an entire degree. I've literally got, I have my last exam in 11 days. Literally all I've got left is to submit an essay that is due tomorrow, which I've been working on forever. I know I wanted to get it submitted way before the deadline, but unfortunately I just seem to not be able to do stuff until it's actually due, until there's like that time pressure. I'm, I'm just not very good at doing stuff before it actually needs to be done. So yes, I'm gonna finish my essay today. I need to cut out 500 words. I've already cut out about a thousand words from it and I need to do all of my referencing, which if you watched my last video when I was writing my last essay for criminal justice, took me over an entire day. And this essay is due tomorrow. But I thought I'd catch up with you guys quickly because we are back in Exeter. And this will be one of the final uni vlogs in Exeter. Yesterday when I came back, I went to the pub with the girls. We bumped into some of the boys and it's just crazy to me that we won't all be living near each other next year. I'm gonna miss everyone so much, but there's no point like prematurely mourning uni. So I'm gonna try and enjoy every last bit of it. I am also feeling like I have quite elevated levels of anxiety for the past couple of days. And I think that is because it's coming to an end and I find like transitional periods quite like anxiety inducing, especially when I go from being busy and having a lot to do and having like a defined purpose every single day to going into like the summer holidays. That actually makes me incredibly anxious. It makes me have a lot more time to think about like the direction of my life, like what I'm doing, if I'm doing enough. So obviously summer should be a restful time, but I am aware that it usually brings quite strong feelings of anxiety up in me. So I'm gonna be trying to work on that this summer as well. But I also have loads of summer plans um, that I will be bringing you guys along for. cut down my essay to 3,000 words exactly, which has taken me such a long time. It also has added in a couple of bits, which meant that I had to take out more. Now all I need to do is my referencing, which I'm gonna do today. I did end up taking out a few words that make it grammatically correct, like that. I've taken a few that's out, but at this point I was just struggling to care, but I felt like I needed more words for this essay. Like everything that I'd written, I thought had value and was like important and was like adding to my point and adding to the essay. I think it's just gone 2.30 and I'm about to go to the gym now. And then the supermarket is near the gym. So I'm gonna to pop to the supermarket to do a food shop. We have a leg day today and I'm still on the Evolve U plan. Someone asked me on my video last week. So the Evolve U lower body strength plan, which I'm still enjoying. <laughs> My little grocery haul, I got 
some bits for a burrito bowl tonight which I really fancied and then I picked up these to like crumble on the top with it because I had that last time and it was so good and I've got some breakfast bits some chia seeds to maybe make a chia pudding or to put in porridge I'm not really sure if you can do that some berries white chocolate I love these crisps sourdough avocado for lunches I might make some tacos and tofu and pepper and parmesan and stuff for pasta and stir fry and yeah some noodles for stir fry I just wanted to jump in here and tell you about the sponsor of this part of the video. I am so excited to be working with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning, wants to explore their creativity and basically all round invest time in learning new things. So I have been taking a class on editing. I'm thinking of investing in Final Cut Pro, having a really full overview of how it works and everything that I'll be able to to do with it is so amazing. There's loads of classes on starting a YouTube channel. There's ones on journaling, which I'm definitely interested in checking out soon. And there are some great ones for productivity as well. And what I absolutely love is that it's completely ad free. There are also new premium classes launched every single week. And over summer, I'm so excited to be able to take some more classes because I'm gonna have a little bit more free time. And of course, I have an offer for you guys to try it out. So the first 1000 people to click the link in my description will get a one month trial on Skillshare completely free there are honestly so many classes to explore on there and i think there will be a class for all of you guys so thank you again to skillshare for sponsoring today's video and make sure you click the link in the description for the first 1000 of you to get one month free Good morning guys, it's now Friday and I have just been working all morning on Spanish because I submitted my essay last night so it is actually 10 past 12, it's not the morning anymore but yes, I've moved on to my Spanish revision because that is my next exam coming up in six days and I haven't done any revision apart from the revision I did for my speaking which is a little bit transferable but I need to learn much broader vocab for this exam and practice writing out like passages as well from looking at past papers so I'm starting by going through all my notes making flashcards for the vocab then I'll do some past papers learn all the flashcards and practice writing passages and stuff I think I'm so glad to have my essay finished I submitted it last night morning I just re-read and like restructured my conclusion ever so slightly just because I wanted it to be more cohesive but because the two topics in the essay are like very different and I have very different arguments for each of them it was quite hard to like conclude and I'm worried a little bit more about the structure than I was on the last essay that I did when the two topics had really similar arguments and they were really similar I think the structure maybe could have done with improvement but it's too late now. I have a couple of hours that I could do it, but I'm not going to. I don't want to look at it anymore. Now I'm going to go grab some lunch.
are just about to head out. I have just got ready. I've been working on competition readings all afternoon and then I've just got ready and we're gonna go out for a curry. And then I actually have a ticket to go out tonight as well, just because like, I'm not here for much longer. There's not gonna be loads more nights out. So I thought I'd make the most of it um, and it's Friday. So yes, I'm gonna head out after that with everyone as well. I'm very, very hungry. So I'm looking forward to some food, but yes. Let's go. I didn't get <laughs> I am so excited for this. I'm so hungry. Oh, my room is a mess. I'm a mess, but I'm very hungry. <laughs> Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this gold. So guys, it's a little bit later on on Saturday. I've had a really nice day. I was feeling a little unwell this morning, so I ordered myself a pizza, which came before 12. I pre-ordered it on delivery. It was lovely. And then we went to Exmer. I did a little bit of editing and work that I needed to do, but I think I'm going to do a bit more editing tonight and then finish that tomorrow because I need to have a video finished by tomorrow. So I need to tidy my room. I'm going to have a shower. It's nearly eight o'clock. Get a fairly early night, I think. Just get some good sleep. So tired. I cannot wait to get back into my bed. So guys, I'm at the gym, it's Sunday, it's half one. I have been doing some Spanish work this morning because I had a bit of a panic and realized that my exam is like three and a half days away and I haven't really revised. I've done like a very small amount of revision. I'm gonna try and probably finish all of the flashcards that I need to do today and then move on to like past papers, reviewing flashcards and stuff like that and just be like as efficient as possible as opposed to like knowing absolutely everything inside out, I think. But yes, I slept until 10 o'clock this morning. I slept for 12 hours last night I went to bed at 10 woke up at 10 and I'm still tired so I am ill I've got a really sore throat today I think it's the cold that my boyfriend had when we saw each other because I've been feeling a bit ill for a few days but I feel actually ill today I have a leg day to do today so this is my fourth day training of the week we have another burrito bowl for lunch and I'm gonna carry on with doing some Spanish work mm -hmm. 